What's going on guys, this is Rate 47 here and I am doing a quick review on the LCP. And this is generation one, they make two LCP maxes, etc, etc, etc. But just the LCP in general, um, the thing is about the LCP in general, I'm talking about two, I'm talking about the max, just in general, what my thoughts and opinions are on the LCP. Okay, so my thoughts and opinion on it is I like it, but I kind of really don't like it because, you know, it's 380 and it really only holds six rounds of 380. That is horrible. But if you're in a sticky situation, it will protect you. I'm not going to lie. I would not like to be shot by 380. 380 would suck to get shot by be honest with you anything really would even a 22 i'm not i'm not gonna lie anything that harms your body your internals your anything that does that and pierces your skin is gonna hurt even a little cut i know from experience but back on to the lcp so the lcp is a good gun it's reliable it shoots thing is though for women and old people that want to shoot this gun or carry this gun there is one problem i have with it see this slide watch this i'm just gonna barely try to tug on it see it kind of catches right there and then it launches you and i have to do that pretty hard now my other gun let's just say taurus for example let me unload it for you real quick i really don't have that big of a problem with it i can literally do the same thing See how e much easier that is? That's so easy. I mean, it's not easy, easy, but it's better than... Sorry. You see that, though? See what I'm talking about? And you kind of just got to... And that... See, it still didn't even do that. Also, another problem with this gun is the trigger. Watch this. See how heavy that trigger is? Now, let me reset it. See how long that is? And then. See, it's got a false trigger on it. <laughs> I, I totally forgot about that. I, I forgot to tell you. It's got a false trigger on it when you're trying to reset it. So look, I'll do it again. Down. Rack. See that first click? You think that's the trigger, and it's not. And then you have to go all the way up. Look. Let me move my finger out of the way so you can kind of see. See, that's the false trigger. And then you got to go up. See, two. You have to wait for two clicks, and then you can pull your trigger. Why did they do that? I don't know. Because when I f try to fire this gun super fast, like boom, 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 just in training, I, get, I always get locked up with that because I, I, I'm feeling the trigger. I'm feeling for when it's going to fire. And... My whole big deal is I'm not used to that. See, with this Taurus, see, it's got a long thing, long pull, but it clicks off right there. And then when I reset it, right there, I don't have a false trigger. So that's what I'm looking for is that click and that on demand that um, it's going to shoot. It's going to fire. And I got a false, false trigger on it right there false trigger but the thing is about this gun it's super tiny super super tiny i can conceal this anywhere and i'm sure with the right training you will get used to the false trigger i'm not really worried about it but it's so tiny that you can stick it anywhere your purse your pocket your knapsack your i i don't know your tampon you could stick it literally in your tampon no one would notice it but the thing is, you have to get this pinky extension. I'm not going to lie, because I need a full grip on my gun. I don't need this. I don't need that. I don't want that. So you got to get your full extension on it. See what I mean? Your full hand. See, for me, it's like half. Kind of. It's kind of weird. And it's got a high bore axis too, with it being so small, so lightweight, and it's being a 380. You're you're gonna 
try to fire like this, right? Your bore axis is up here. The thing is, it tries to flip on you. See, even with me gripping it, I can still do that. It's going to have a lot of recoil on it. But, why do I keep saying but so much? I don't know. I'm so sorry, guys. I will recommend the 380 to old people or ladies. Um, there's a lot better guns out there, but if you're trying to go the cheap route, get this. Don't get a high point. Don't get a Sky CPX Y Y. I think it's something like that. I would recommend the Ruger 380 and get the LCP Max. I heard they're a lot easier. The slides are a lot e lighter, and they don't have a false trigger on them. And the LCP 2 don't have a false trigger on it. Now with this LCP, there are no sights. You can obviously tell. No sights. No sights. Guns are clear. Don't worry. But look, no sights. So this is really just a get off me gun. Boom, 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 boom. Like that's all it is. But that's my thoughts and opinions on the Ruger LCP. You let me know what you think about it. I enjoy the gun. I don't enjoy the gun. It's kind of like a mixed review, mixed opinion on it. So just let me know. And like and subscribe. Thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next video. Thank you.